Hi there, Jennifer from Charles Beach with your pronunciation question. Our question today is, how do I pronounce the word meter? And a meter is a unit of length. To pronounce this word, we are going to think of two beats, me and der. Let's start with that me. Put your lips together for that M, mm, air moves out of your nose, then smile, and your tongue will be high and flat in your mouth for that long E, me. Now for the der, this is actually a flap T, which I like to teach as a really fast D. And to do that, you're going to touch the tip of your tongue to the top of your mouth super fast, almost to your front teeth, but a little bit further back, kind of where your skin um, just starts the roof of your mouth. Duh, 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 duh. Then you're going to end with that er to do this, square tense lips. Your tongue is either pointing down or flipped back, but the back needs to be pulled high up and it needs to stay there and be stable. Tip of your tongue is not moving. Again, it is pointed down or flipped back. We don't want that tongue to be moving. Let's put that together. Me, der. Now, when we add a prefix to this word, the word meter is going to stay the same. And we can add centimeter or milla meter. The tip for you here is, is that we are going to use that schwa syllable in that word. So you're going to have cent a meter, cent a meter, and mil a meter, milla meter. So we have again, meter, centimeter, and millimeter. Now, what about this? What about when we have a suffix with meter in it? When we have a suffix with meter in it, what is happening is we are going to pronounce that differently because the stress changes. So when we add the ometer to a word, we are always going to stress that um part, add the schwa, uh, and then end with a der. So let's give that a try. We have thermometer and speedometer. So we have thermometer and speedometer. So thermometer, speedometer, thermometer, 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 speedometer, speedometer, speedometer. Let's flip back and try these words again so you can hear the difference. We have meter, centimeter, and millimeter. And now we're gonna change the stress for the ometer suffix, which is the ending, for words like thermometer and speedometer. So I hope you found this tip helpful. Give it a try. I know people are going to notice the difference. And if you found this helpful, please share us with your friends. Thank you for all of your likes and your shares. And we look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks everyone. Have a great week.